I said, when I am 80, I'm getting a f***ing tattoo of a seahorse. And here is my seahorse. I really believe that it's shaming age if you refuse to tell your age. Why wouldn't you tell your age? No one is 80 in this world. So that's part of my popularity, that I'm 80 and I can walk and talk. I'm 80, f***ing 80. I was born in 1938, and especially my generation, you were prescribed that you had to be married after college. And if you weren't married after college, there was no reason for you to live. That was our prescription. So we followed that. And, and the sad part is there were women much more brave than I, much more intelligent than I, who thought that was wrong. And, you know, the Betty Friedan and, and so many women then who were marching for equality. I unfortunately was not. I was a little housewife who did what I was told and cooked what I was told. There was a something that changed in my life. In uh, early 1970, 1969, 1970, my family moved from a suburb, which I hated and felt fish out of water, to a planned development in Chicago called South Commons. The intent of the community was to integrate people of different races, ages, incomes in a variety of housing styles. I felt like Dorothy walking into Oz, that I said, I am home. This is where I belong. Within a month, I was editor of the community newspaper, producer of the musical theater, head of the tenants organization. I just went nuts. And I completely changed my life from this very unhappy housewife, fish out of water, to the person I am today. I am still doing those things. I am still organizing programs. I'm still protesting. I'm still writing. I'm the exact same person, but with wrinkles, that I was then. And I'm not stopping. I love body art. These are my two daughters' names on it, Faith and Jill, my two children. Um, and it was a way to celebrate them and what they've what they have accomplished in life and their creativity and what they brought to my life. And this one though actually has even more. It's a seahorse and um, I have been trying to swim my entire life. I learned how to swim doing the crawl and breathing on my right side with flippers in a shallow pool at the age of 79. And I did it by 80, so I'm just very grateful. So that's what this, this, this tattoo means. I have a philosophy in life called leap before you look. I have moved 18 times in my life. I've had numerous jobs. I think I have a, a very short attention span. And when you get to the age of 80, you say, who the f cares what other people, and you know what? Most people don't care about you anyway. They're so involved in their own lives, they really don't care about you. Perfection's a killer. I mean, leave that for the geniuses and those who get the Pulitzers. I think society has no idea what to do with um, women our age. They would rather put us in assisted living, senior housing, live somewhere. They really don't like to see us. We're not pretty, we're, we're not attractive, we're not speedy, we may need assistance, and that's a lot of work. I'm very excited that at age 80 that I'm still creating, encouraging, nudging. They said, F it, what do you want to do? And the minute that I said, I'm gonna do what I want to do, everything changed.